So the Royal College of Surgeons held some focus groups in the spring of 2017. They wanted to seek patients' views on how surgery is carried out in the NHS, and in particular, they wanted to hear people's thoughts about the extended surgical team. Overall, patients told the college that they're positive about the idea of the extended surgical team, including those that had had experience of being treated by a member of the team. They welcomed the potential benefits, less pressure on doctors, reduced waiting times, a smoother process and better continuity of care. However, they did find the unfamiliarity and range of job titles confusing and sometimes a bit overwhelming, and they thought that this might add to the anxiety that people feel whilst they're in hospital. There are some things that patients particularly want to know about members of the EST, their competence, their level of supervision and how they're regulated. And of course, some of the professionals that are in the EST are not subject at the moment to any statutory form of regulation, and this may be a cause of concern for patients. Of particular importance to patients is knowing who is going to do what before, during and after their operation. They feel that their confidence in the EST depends on the specialist expertise of the individual practitioners and reassurance that they're supervised by the consultant surgeon. This is especially whilst roles are unfamiliar and being developed. And of course, clear and transparent communication with patients, telling them what they need and want to know when they need that information is key to building their overall confidence about the extended surgical team and ensuring a positive patient experience.